Hey <laughs> Ah! One more game. Just one more. And everything will be okay. Welcome back, everybody. I am playing chess until I hit 2,000 ELO. That is a very high ELO. This episode is a little bit different. I recorded this episode in the midst of a tilt fest. I, I am currently in the midst of a tilt fest. So there's a point in this episode where it looks like I'm going to cry. Don't mind me. I I'm fine. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Uh, I haven't really posted myself tilting. <laughs> uh, so here you go. Here you go. Here's me tilting. This is the worst uh, that I that I will be uh, when it comes to chess in terms of attitude. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm not always like this. I'm not always like this in the, in, when I'm playing chess. Trust me. I'm usually better. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I have been recently climbing, climbing the ladder, and now I have my, my foot has slipped and I have played Oh my gosh, in the span of two days, I have played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 games. And I have won three of them. I am 3 and 16. And my ELO has plummeted all the way from the, the lofty heights of 1927 all the way down to 1845. A big tilt fest here. But that's okay. I, I was kind of expecting this to happen at some point. Um, I didn't expect it to happen this bad, to lose this many games in a row, but it did happen. Uh, and I thought I would record a video, uh, right now, in the middle of my tilting. Because that's part of the journey, right? That's a part of the journey. And, <laughs> it happens. So, let's just go ahead and play a 10 minute game. And let's see, let's see if we can, I mean, do anything. We're playing an 1800. Okay, let's play uh, C6. Play the Karl Khan. I mean, I just reached 1800 like a month ago, and my ELO really skyrocketed all of a sudden, which was very fun while it was happening. But I think we're seeing a balance, the great balance effect happen here. And we're going, <laughs> we're descending. Okay. I don't know what it was too. I think I played two games, the first two games I started this tilt fest, and I felt like I should have won them. Like it was really stupid mistakes that happened, that occurred, and I felt like I should have won them, and I just kept playing. Just one more game. Just one more game. Okay, he's creating a battery. He's coming here. Typically, the knight is here to defend, but I haven't had enough moves to do that. They castle first. Mm. If I go here and he takes and I go here, I'm threatening to take here and I'm threatening to play g6. But if this happens and this happens, then I just go back and then take. So it doesn't quite work. So maybe I just play g6 here to stop this threat. Um, okay. And I think let's go ahead and bring the knight now. He's pushing this. I think that's fine. Let's go here and here probably. Should I be worried about this? I mean, h6 is annoying. I'm going for a big attack like immediately. It's not even castled. Um, yeah, but a lot of these games that I've that I've been losing, the 13 games that I have lost in the span of two days, nearly all of my games. Do we take with the knight here? Let's take with the knight here. Uh, a lot of them, I have just been like even the whole game, and then it just comes down to like one mistake at the end, and it just loses me the game, and it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Uh, I think my focus has just not been there. Okay. But that's the thing. You got to know when to stop playing. And I clearly did not. Uh, I did not do that. I did not recognize that I should stop playing. Well, I did recognize that I should stop playing. So if I take, he pushes. I did recognize I should stop playing. But there was like this little voice in my head. I was like, one more game. Just one more, and everything will be okay. But it wasn't. But it wasn't. Um. Okay, so he's going for a fork, a little fork, a little forky fork. Okay. 
I feel like I have to do this to stop that because if I move the bishop, this comes. I have to move my knight. And he pushes again. And if I take, there's checks over. I don't think that would have been good. But now this is coming. And if I take, he pushes. Oh, but then I could take, take, rook takes. Hmm. Maybe I should have let him do this. Because take, take, rook takes, take, pawn takes. And everything would have been fine. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Rook H3. Rook H3 to double up. Okay, that makes sense. I could go here to, to play Rook here. Let's do that. Let's play King up and then Rook H8. Because I feel like I need to defend here. There's a lot of, a lot of pieces coming. I would love to attack my on my own. What does he do? He takes. So I take. Queen takes. This is all fine. This is okay. I don't think there's any threats. So let's start. Let's start trying to do our own thing here. Go on our own attack. Is there any threats? Check here no hmm. okay I would love to start going on my own attacks here up. take up push is probably pretty good here push Sack here. I don't think that works. We go here. It just takes. Okay, yeah, knight's coming in. <clears throat> hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. This and this is coming. Yeah, I feel like pushing here is a really good move. So why'd I play that? Look, I think he finds out. I could just trade queens. He's up a pawn though. Take, take. Take bishop takes probably. No, this, because then this is hanging and he can't really push it. So I would take, take, rook takes. So if he takes, I'll take with pawn. Because then this is loose. He could just go king here, though. Then I get double up. Queen trade. Hmm. Queen e7. Okay, so the bishop is being hit. It is defended. So I do have time to take. Bishop takes, queen takes. I think that's what I should do. I think I should take just to try to open up some lines, some some counterplay. And if he takes my bishop, I just take with the queen. I think I'm happy to see that. Okay, now I have check, and then I can slide the rook over to b8. He doesn't have this. Well, I guess he does. Did I get a knight? He doesn't have. That. Okay, so rook b8 is coming. He doesn't have this. He doesn't have this. Am I winning a chess game? Please. Mm. Just rook here, huh? I'd be happy to see that because Take, king takes, and then I have check, and maybe I'm getting it with the queen. Winning a pawn, maybe more. So I think rook here would be a blunder, I want to say. Okay. 
Oh. So now this is threatened. I always have queen here. I even have this. But then he has check, take, check. Oh. Oh no. Check here. Oh, he's really quick over here. So if I go here, he plays check, take, check. I have to go here. And the knight is hanging. Queen here. I feel like I'm going to lose my queen because of check here, check. And then I have to run away and he gets my queen. Okay. Rook here to protect this. Check. Take. Check. Here. Rook takes. And then the knight is hanging. So rook takes. If I move the knight, this queen here is coming. Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes. Checkmate. Rook here. Check down if rook check then take rook here check here check knight takes Rook check. King has to take checkmate. Here. Check. Check. Up. Queen check. No, rook check. is checkmate. Queen here. I lose my queen. Can't do this. Oh, what if I run? That's immediate checkmate. Here. Check here. Check over. Check. Knight takes. Check, he gets my queen, right? Wait, here. Check, take, check. Oh, there's no second rook, okay. Here. He goes here, maybe I can block. Okay, let's just do this. I don't know if this works. Check here. He doesn't have this because of this. Okay. And I can and I can go here. He doesn't have take. Because this is pin though. Oh, he has check. And he just wins a rook, he wins a knight. Hmm. Oh, I think I was lost. I think I was lost here. Almost everything I saw led to a loss of material or checkmate or... Checkmate. How do I stop that? 
can I stop that? Check, Hova, check. Okay, let's resign. Game review. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to what I've been doing. Okay, Tartikauer. Taken with a knight. Big mistake. Should have taken with a pawn. Okay. Should have taken with a pawn. Note for self. I took with a knight, and I'm just losing. This is a blunder. I had a big chance. Bishop takes a2. What? What about this? A4. What? What about this? A takes b3. Queen takes. Check. Here. Where's my win? What? Rook takes a3. The bishop was hanging in a lot of these lines. The bishop was hanging. After this, the bishop was hanging. Very cool. He missed it. Where? Here. I could have taken. Because no matter what, Queen two's best move to protect this, and then I just go f5. f5. Yep, which is kind of what I did. Doesn't he have time to do this now? Bishop a3. Check. Wow. And if here, then a4. If here, then I just take. This is defended. Okay. King here is a miss. Here. I had bishop d5. Huh? What? Bishop takes here. Bishop takes here. Okay. A little bit hard to play. A little bit hard to play there. King up. I went king up to go rook here. He takes. I take. Queen takes. I go here. Knight here. I'll try to do some counterplay. Yeah, then here, I mean, I was just dead lost. Best move here is queen d5. I didn't even consider that. Protects this, it attacks the queen. Take, take, take. Over. Queen f7 check, just to trade. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Uh, I've lost a hundred points in two days. Well, at what point do I stop playing? At what point do I stop playing? Uh, maybe twenty games. I'm at seventeen. Let me play three more. I probably stop playing at like eighteen hundred. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, we're playing in 1803, uh, Kishok, Kishok from India. Got the white pieces. E4, Scandinavian. Okay, bring out the knight. Bring out this knight. Queen goes back. Let's play D4. Bishop likes to go here in Scandinavian. And Bishop typically goes here because the queen is there. I'll just go Bishop back. Let's castle. I kind of want my pawn here, right? So let's maybe rotate the knight. Protects this. Play c3. Play bishop uh, c2, maybe. Okay. I keep up the speed. So if I take knight takes, bishop back. Seems fine. Knight takes, bishop back. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> Ah! He could have taken with the bishop. Huh. Oh. Okay. I have a pass pawn. I have a pass pawn. Can I protect it? Yes. No. Yes. Bishop. I don't want to have an isolated pawn. 
So I think I'll play bishop here. And take this way. Oh, if he takes, maybe I do the same thing to him. But then... I think that's fine. I just play king over. Just play king over and rook g... Rook g? Rook g1? Queen is hit. Queen is protecting this pawn, which is very important. So I think I should go here to protect against this. Okay. And now this seems fine. I think I'll try to infiltrate. Let's go rook here. Line this up. takes and then rook d1 seems fine attack the queen maybe i can play rook or queen d3 and go on an attack I need to always protect this my king is cut off from the world here. Protect the pawn. Vital. Crucial. And now my queen is protecting these squares. Uh, okay. I thought I was lost there. I thought I was lost. I thought he was just going to have a checkmate. But he didn't. Thank God. Take. What's this? Should I take? I should. I should take. No, I shouldn't. Because then he has this. Wow. Good move. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I think I'm I think I should do this. Now he has this, but then I go here. So rook here, here. Take, take. Okay. Check. <laughs> okay. Let's just lose all my pawns. Dang it. He should take this one. He should not take this one. Yeah. I have to protect that. <gasps> King can easily stop this pawn. All right, all right. <laughs> Chess is over. Chess is over for today. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 games, I've won three, I've lost 15. Uh, I'm I'm big tilted. Uh, this sucks. Um, but, but, gosh, Elo is so hard to get back. It's so easy to lose and so hard to get back. Um, I did just reach 1800 a month ago, you know. Uh, I've tilted like this twice or once before in the series, I think, once. And I came back stronger. I came back stronger. 